Thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in with I, Enchantress D. Babbler, on our evolutionary, revolutionary ride. And so this is going to be interesting, guys. So I feel very uh, hoof, 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 tapped in, turned on, tuned in with the angelic realm spin. And so it's just going to go like that. So I had like this lucid moment, right? And I think it's because, um, you know, all things are fluid and things like that. And so this week, theme like with all the children and stuff like that and yoga has been bees right like well also with bees but I'm just saying like with bee breath and stuff like that and going like this sticking your thumbs in your ears like this covering them and then covering your eyes and <laughs> and so you know it has a very um like if you keep on with your buzzing sounds, um, it can take you to a different vibration. And then especially if you're working on your breathing and things like that, and you're, when you're breathing from your core, and I was also doing balloon breath with the kids and stuff like that. So, you know, and we're breathing from to our core and all this kind of stuff and all these kind of things, um, you create a lot of, um, cellular stimulation and electromagnetic cellular stimulation to occur within your so it's just you know entryways of passageways of keys to connect you know with university you know what I mean so I think it's because of that because of the name too although I find that a lot of the angelic names rhyme all together and sound similar and things like that but it's just funny because I had this lucid moment I was like all right I'm gonna do like a like a power nap kind of thing right because you know in between takes and stuff like that I do a lot of physical activity and stuff like that so sometimes I just need a power surge oh! <laughs> right um so it, it must have not been no more than like 15 minutes if at most it could be even less than that um I was woken up to Brazil. <laughs> I'm doing it in injustice. But Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. And I know immediately, like I think of it, and I know immediately, I, I, angelic realm. I just feel it and I know it. And I'm like, oh, Archangel, um, wisdom, like, you know, whatever. So, you know, I look it up and stuff like that. And so, um, Archangel Raziel, Raziel. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm printing stuff. Oh, hold on one second. Great. So another thing that I'm advised to say is pay attention to how you receive things in certain kind of ways. Because, you know, it's just like sometimes for some that might be able to relate of like when you're sleeping and you wake up to your name being called and you heard it. It was there. Which dimension though, my dear, which plane of existence were you visiting? You know what I mean? <laughs> All the excitement breathes when you like, um, right? So, um, so pay attention to these things. And even sometimes things that don't make sense, like, um, like even my, Inging. <laughs> I'm being silly and I'm just sharing because I want you to understand how ridiculous it may even sound to you when you don't understand it too like and yet you're receiving these things in weird kind of ways so there is a huge um ing ing like especially when it comes to um the rooms right um, anyways, but we're not talking about that. So that's for another kind of thing. But I'm just saying, and I was saying, ing, or noticing that I was um, writing words, like like with my hashtags and things like that. And then the last three letters of any ing, I was capitalizing. <laughs> and you know, sometimes you do things and you you don't know why you do them and you just do them naturally. It's like automatic writing, right? When you're writing, you're just in that flow and you're in the thing and you just all of a sudden, so like I'm capitalizing certain letters only and all this kind of stuff. So these are the decoding, the coding, the uploading, the you that is this um, 
massive portal of life, a well, gifting sight. Open up your eyes. Abracadabra, you see. <laughs> hook, hook is hook, hocus pocus. <laughs> hook, pock, pockus, pockus, US, pockus, pock, pock. Okay, either way. <laughs> ING. <laughs> Ing. <laughs> but, right, so. So I'm I like in this 15 minute psh, power surge or whatever, it's literally like a power surge, like, like <laughs> but that's not how I heard it. Now I'm saying it right because I, I looked it up and it looked. So now hearing it, like repeating that, which I heard, it, it's kind of challenging right now, but it was, Lindsay, Lindsay, right? So, um, yeah, so I looked it up and whatever. So Angel Oradil, right? Um, teachings of Jewish mysticism, right? Angel of secrets, angel of mysteries, right? So, so this is great because it ties really well into these universal laws, right? Mixed with the, are you, we're gonna talk about that too. Universal laws in the universe. And mixed with the laws of it, like anyways, for just proper nourishment of our portals of enlightenment and stuff. So, Angel Razil, right? Um, bestower of strength and power, right? Which allows us to fight power to power. These are my notes on that, which I had even just looked up to, just of what is known and stuff like that. And these were just my own re paraphrasing of that which I see. Like, you know what I mean? So knowing every, so, and, and these are just mixed in with that which I saw and then that which I'm writing on my own. So this is a mix of, a mix of like all that kind of stuff. So receives holy secrets from God of all wisdom and knowledge in the world. But then I highlight it, like I, I, I highlight it in the world, right? Because there's so many different multiverse, interverse, megaverse like negaverse like you know i'm going he man shira um and all this kind of stuff but in the world like you know there's departments there's compartments there's chapters there's dimensions there's planes there's universe there's there's just so many intricacies into everything and then we're each having our personal experience you see and dependent on even in your own personal experience, there's never a, even though we're all interconnected beings, at, in this realm of existence, we have limiting sights, although infinite and vast can be our expansion, it's at a limited fraction, right? But you can still travel through these interconnected dimensions and realize and even connect and understand the interdimensional layers and spheres and connectivities that are happening with you in each and every single one of these portals and openings too, right? There's just so much to, that we can go through. So even in, in that, like as open and vast and mighty and strong as you can be from one personal perspective of this interdimensional beast of a being that is all that is one that if we each one reach one teach one we still have this much where we can see no matter how expansive or big we think we see this is how we're a drip of a drop of a drip of a drop of an ocean meanwhile we're the whole ocean but we're just that drip of a drop of a drip of a drop of an ocean and just the massiveness of how we can conceive the sea the ocean the 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 every body of water like even though we're having it from this one drip of a drop of an experience it's just <laughs> mind-blowing for us humanoids here awakening to certain layers of interdimensionality <laughs> welcome <laughs> to your quantum uplift welcome 
So I hope that you value the mana that you see here, right? And realize the quantum upload of <laughs> energy frequency vibration you are receiving. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. This is your opportunity to like this video because in this 3D perceived realm of existence, these small budget things kind of like help a sister out. You know what I'm saying? But either way, um, yeah. So what are we saying? Oh, Brazil, 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 keeper of all magic. So did I say that? Mm -hmm. Immune to war. Androgynous be the nature of the divine masculine and feminine energies, mixing together and intermingling and finding their truest harmony, existing within one, combining the trying, activating in this world. Mm -hmm. Mister of strength and power, which allows us to. Fight power with power, but power to power. So it's putting all on equal terms. Equal, equal, equal. Most powerful of many beings since these pure fucking heart. Abracadabra. Yeah, so that's what happens to the angels. The angels, the angels want to help us understand the world around us better, right? So here we are receiving holy secrets from God. Deeper involvement in the knowledge. So these are other angel cards. What other angels do we have here to help? bring to light that which we must see for our quantum development of our own evolutionary breeding of feeding that is quantum and prosperously exceeding our expectation. Constantly breaking all limitations. Para hell, para hell is all about intellectual abundance, access to knowledge. We are opening right this portal and having direct access to intellectual abundance. I have direct access to into divine intellectual abundance. I have access to divine knowledge. I have the capacity to materialize through technology and advanced programming because <laughs> intellectual abundance be me. I emanate goodness, beauty, truth. I am well-balanced, intelligent in all fields. I loves learning. I learns easily. I love my intellectual creativity. I love my practical intelligence, right? So these are the qualities of Harahel. And here we are invoking that which we are interdimensionally, multidimensionally, inter dimensionally, electromagnetically, mind, body, heart, and soul connected on a whole level. And here we get to interconnect and utilize, right? Through advanced programming, this technology that we share, interconnections with care. I have productivity on all levels, right? This also helps with children-parent relationship, right? Children, Hara Hel, helps with 
children who are obedient and respectful towards their parents. Ability, also the ability to make a fortune thanks to one's intellectual qualities. I have the ability to make a fortune thanks to my own intellectual qualities. I enjoy writing, journalism, publishing, and printing. Right, so this is Pedahem, right? Human distortion, lack of knowledge, ideas, or intelligence. Spends too much time on computers. Lives in a virtual world, not grounded enough in reality. Lacks exercise, concrete action, and contact with physical reality. Intellectual aberration. Destructive writing, broadcasts, and influences that are negative for all humanity. This is the flip side, the shadow side, that element side. And I always say in my channel, it's 50 50. <laughs> right? So, mental opacity, incomprehension, sterility, lack of productivity, stagnation, right? Um, lack of productivity on all levels, rebellious, disrespectful children. Right? Fire burns everything on one's path. An enemy of light projects doom to failure. So be careful with those pessimistic or those spiritualists too that want to put fear propaganda deep down into you or even just throw karma too loosely from their tongue. Mm. Those see people seem to like to project doom like it's fun. Misery loves company. Use your discernment wise. Energy is energy and it will never lie. People will. Energy won't. Manipulation of the media for personal gains and fraud. So there's a lot of fraud coming out because justice is here. Justice is leak is here. There is a energy force that has been unleashed. And you can see it in the media too, frenzy, where certain things are just coming into surface. Coming to surface where you just can't ignore it any longer. Truth, yeah, because it's continuous. It's like people that don't learn from their mistake and they continue to do it still anyway. I'm about to you because you have the chance to do what is right, to do what is right when no one is looking. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But to do what is right when no one is looking and where you won't get credit for it, but you still fucking do it anyway. Ah, my ears are fucking on fire. So we're transmuting that leveling of deceit and attire. There's Justice League Department. Oh, I'm gonna look for those videos so I can share with you in the community tab too. Um, previous videos from years ago or months ago or whatever time ago, it doesn't fucking matter. Justice League and the hybrid too. There's a lot of old content that you got to look see through. There's over 2000 videos on this channel alone. That dates back to 2000 something <laughs> ago. She wasn't allowed to delete. It wasn't allowed to delete. So Angel Raziel teaching uh, um, the mystery, revealing itself into you. So that's too, that's another awakening happening for you at this time, right? Another awakening, right? Hectic, the queen of the crossroads, the of the unknown, right? Right, because things are, so this is a new territory, unknown territory to you because this is some place you have never been before. That is what new looks like and it can seem scary. That's why you gotta, you can't let the old programming um ruin that which is being created now stuck in that old energy of um lack of acting in your greatest favor right it's just like how many times can you hear intuitively what to do that was right and you still don't do it anyways and then fuck shit happens <laughs> and then you're like fuck me right mm -hmm. 
right? Stop doing that. Just get to the nitty gritty. Not everything's gonna be pretty or bite the bullet. Eat that pride, that ego, and push that ego to the side for just a second in your life because your future self will fucking thank you. This vessel here is very dramatic. Multiple personalities. So, Peke, oh my gosh, didn't she come up in a recent video? Have you been following along? Hakai, I, I couldn't say it. Hakai, Hakai, Kate, I was saying it like that. Like, that's what I'm remembering. So, Hakai acknowledges that you are at a significant crossroads in your life. She meets you at this crossroad with her torch, dagger, and key and asks you to embrace the unknown, even though you are afraid. I'm not afraid to take a stand for all I am. I have a plan, divinity. I learn the team as I act in key. I am the key. <laughs> okay. Stop it. She used to do a vehicle one time. Maybe you're popular. Maybe not so much popular, but you got a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> it's gonna like move your legs. It's gonna like move your legs. You gotta move your body. You gotta get up. You gotta circulate those hinges. You gotta. Move, come on, participate with me too in my stretch videos and stuff like that. But okay, hold on. This decision, although difficult and full of uncertainty, must be made. Trust that with your inner knowing and real world experience, you will make the decision that is for the highest good of all. Owen, I make decisions that are for the highest good of all. My decisions are for the highest good of all. Mm. Mm. I make decisions that are for the highest good of all. Like that. Okay. Each one, reach one, teach one. Trust that with your inner knowing and real world experience, you will make decisions that is for the highest good of all. Heck, it got its magic, witchcraft, necromancy, life and death, doorways and crossroads is one of the most mysterious figures in Greek mythology. It is believed that her name may derive from the ancient Greek word, heck, meaning far off, roughly translating to influence from afar. This name may allude to her foreign origins as her worship is thought to have begun in Anatolia, largely modern, modern day Turkey. Hecate was greatly honored by Zeus as she was the only Titan permitted, permitted to maintain her authority once the Olympians won the war against the Titan. Only, he only Hecate continued to hold the great power to either give to or withhold from human humanity anything she desired. We've awakened. The world has sh awakened and shaken with so much despair and so much just deceit. And so much horror that the prayers have ran really deep that they forged this awakening, this shaking. The giants have landed. The giants have landed for some time. They incubated. They incubated. They drank up. Because when they landed, they were malnourished, of course. They were aware, you see, but... There's so much more to the divine plan, you see, because it's always a blinder for all that are involved in the plan. No one can honestly really know the plan to say because it's just evolution in some way and there's mystery to that kind of. Rain, R-E-I-G-M.
into mystery upon a mystery. Because she has always been shrouded in mystery, <laughs> Hecate has been depicted in a variety of ways, a seductive maiden, a wise old crone, and a three-headed woman looking simultaneously in three directions at a crossroad, representing her ability to see into the past, present, and future. Statues and images of Hecate often show her carrying a torch that brings illumination, a dagger that cuts through illusion and a key that can unlock any door we truly wish to enter. She is often accompanied by animal familiars such as black dogs, snakes, black cats, bull cats, and dragons. Welcome. Welcome. So there is a there is a rumbling, a rumbling taking place. There is Justice League. I gotta post those. I, I don't even know what they say, but I, I remember channeling the Justice League here in every kind of way. So it's been activated. There has been a shift in activation of this Justice League vibration. So the Justice League vibration have been here and landed. There were there was key things that were like missing. Like it could be just like an ingredient, right? Like, or a, a planetary shift. <laughs> it could be just like a planetary shift in divine right direction because nothing has ever stopped or shifted. We're looking at it like stagnation or something's not happening, but it's just, it is happening. It's always happening. It's here. So now the activation is real. Now it's, watch what you do. Watch what you do. Because justice is here for the good of the all. So dependent on how, like, can't, we can't pull justice to energy. It's energy. So get better acquainted with the laws of the universe because they're fucking activated. Like they've always been activated. They've always been activated, but there's just something magnifying the impression of them. I hear it like it's like a boom. Mm, mm, mm. Constant motion. Mm, 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 mm. It's now. It's now. It's now. It's always been, but it's now. Which is why we're going to talk about the universal love and we're going to dive into it. Into this. <laughs> <Turtles> pops. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I sat like this. I should have sat more comfortably so I can. But whatever. I have limited time. And whenever we don't finish here, we'll finish in the next one. So this may be a continuation. It's probably going to be part one. So definitely watch part two. Um, yeah, so there's a, there's a, it's not a hack either not a hack, it's not a hack, it's a, coming from the core of earth, the earth's core. Like this masculine libido, libido, <laughs> burrito, <laughs> like, it's it's um it's red, it's lava, it's dark, it's earth core, it's hot, it's freaking hot, it's erupting. 
it's 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 drumming, beating, and it's in sync, and it's traveling upwards, up for me. It's like the Earth's core being one point of one end and Earth's surface being the point of another end. So it's reaching. So it's like the universal law of polarity. It's like one end reaching its other end or point or top or bottom. Doesn't matter. It's like sending the signal. <laughs> it's like sending a signal it's a process it's such a process it's a process right with such a focus right here on optimistic facing and then a process and facing fear so we're processing our facing our fears in the unknown Process of facing, process of facing our fears in with the unknown. Because the conditioning will have you in a pattern that just needs to be identified so that you can see it for the pattern that it is. And then you can, in your decode, you can code it yourself, how you want it to be coded. That's up to you. That's the next part, the stuff that you do, right? And granted, feeling fear, it can warn us of valid threats. But all too often, it's our minds that manufacture the, these effects that restrict us from personally growing and inhibits our, inhibits our dreams. And so facing these fears with consciousness, with present, be present, right? You can be observant to a witness to the present that you're in and shift your focus on the programming you're now putting in for transmutation so it's like I'm gonna focus on the positive thinking I need to instill and program here and now because that's the programming it needs. So it's like giving yourself a body scan, energy scan. Many are activated in that now. You're truly able to energy scan other people's energy. Everybody can fucking do it. Everybody, anyways, that's close that. That's not even nowhere near here right now. But either way, the magic of your mindset is up to you. And we're here to, to be supportive for you to really be successful in being able to feel your success and experience it too. Not just think about it, fantasize about it, want it, desire it, or become complacent and think and call it gratitude. No, to be really satisfied. Face the fear blockage that causes you to believe that that can't happen to you in this life. It's 
So there are 12 universal laws. And we're going to travel through them for evolutionary purposes. Because the message of this is to really study your universal law and fine tune your alchemy, especially for pro progression. Because there ain't going to be no half stepping, no fake jacking, and no fraud. that will succeed in this alignment of alchemy, of energy, that is truth, honest, authentic, real, and acts the heart for real. So this is your opportunity to fix that which you must or really understand the 12 laws at best for your progress. Jehudian, angel of work and confidence. I will help you with projects, choosing a vocation, or when you feel overwhelmed with work. Don't procrastinate. Work with purpose, be efficient, stay motivated. Write down all your new ideas. Start your projects, finish your product, project, expedite. Stay focused. To be 24 years old, 42 years old, to be a Capricorn, or a chart. Be 38, you've been born in 1983. Be Libra, a Libra in your chart. Zuriel, angel of harmony and vitality. I help you to achieve balance for the change in perspective, compromise, and by finding common ground. You can and you will find another way. about being plan B, your picture. Right, so angel of eternal youth, Nathalia, Nathal. I send healing star fire to burn away feelings of separation from source from which is the root cause of all disease. Things are improving. So you have 12 universal laws. So I wrote notes and I wrote the laws down. So we're gonna just go through them, see how they come up. So I wrote shifting the way we ask the universe for what we desire. That's why it's important to really understand these um, 12 universal laws because it's gonna help you shift the way you ask the universe for what you desire and ways to help you shift the way you ask the universe for what you desire these are things you can do. I wrote some stuff down. Meditation, crafting, you know, I'm big on crafting and making things, having, keeping a gratitude journal, daily affirmation, live blissfully. That means doing that, what you want, what you do, think, do things that bring you joy and things like that. Love on yourself. 
right? Toot your own fucking horn. Cheer for your damn self. Applaud you for all that you do. Love on you. Self-care. Take care of you. You know, if those things are important to you. Like I've always been, there's a side of me that's very whimsical and very, um, like messy, like, um, you know, like, I don't want to say when I was young, I used to be, uh, when I was a little girl, I was a tomboy. And so I was always running around playing and stuff. So there's a part of me that, um, is totally accepting, of messy hair, um, chip, like, you know, nail polish and, or, you know, things like that without feeling any less feminine or um, attractive and stuff like that, because those things are not important to me. But I know that those things are important to many other people and stuff like that. So I'm not insensitive to all of that and stuff like that. I, although I'm always going to be an advocate for natural beauty and appreciating and loving and understanding that when you glow from the inside, you will glow on the outside too. And I'm always going to like believe in that and advocate for that and 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 always tell you that if you want to enhance your beauty and you want to do other stuff to because you feel like that's going to give you more confidence and all this kind of stuff be healthy within yourself first and then make whatever you want to do sound decisions you know from a wise perspective and stuff like that anyways I didn't mean to get all into that but you know what I mean like um my self-care is important like I I I love self-care I self-care I might be like, you know, messy hair and, you know, whatever, and not like do certain kind of girly things like the rest of them and things like that. But, but, you know, like even my daughter, my daughter tells me to like with makeup that I use my fingers to do makeup, like real. And I'm like, who needs a brush? <laughs> She's like, mom. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, I take care of my hair, my skin, like, you know, my, my energy. Um, I do things that I love to do. I, 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 I do my hobbies. I, 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 my careers are based off of the things that I love to do. I love, my, you know, so, you know, these are self-care. Self-care is so important. So important. And then I wrote, do good, be good love good stay good right so anyway um so hold on <laughs> i don't know why i put this table this way but anyway so the universal laws anything from here you got the law and i'm gonna go in order you got the law of divine oneness. Everything is all interconnected. And because everything is all interconnected, it makes everything impactful. So that what you do impacts everything and everyone. Okay? So the law of divine oneness. Everything is in all, everyone and all things are interconnected, which is, I wrote it, which has impactfulness. It's, I get it, right? Everything that I do impacts you, whether directly or indirectly. Everything you do impacts me, whether directly or indirectly. These are universal laws. You can suck your teeth all you like and try to find your wiggle wiggle room through that shit. But each one, each one, each one. And the message for this is strong and heavy. But fuck around and find out. That's where they're at. <laughs> the energies, the vibration, it's just a placement. It's not so much, uh, like a revenge or it's justice, it's energy. It's like filling up a uh, a jug that filled up with just one drop at a time. Drop, 
jug. And the jug is like humongous, like humongous. And the only way to fill it was through this filter, this, this, this hose, right? This, this portal hose that released the liquid one drop at a time. Now, however long that takes, it's however long this took. Divine right timing, right? And the shit is filled. It's unleashed. So law of divine oneness. Law number two, universal law number two is law of vibration. It hinges on how everything in our universe vibrates at a microcellular level. Everything is always constant. Everything is moving. It never rests. This goes into my childhood phenomenon of silence. My question to every adult in the world as a small child is, tell me why there's no silence. There's no such thing as silence. And they're like, there is a such thing as silence. Some people. So, right? The forbearing God. Right? Patience reveals secrets of nature, spreads knowledge and industry. And that's what's happening. So, that which has been poor is now rich in substance. And it's being poured. And those that are registered to the energy frequency vibration or interconnected from that vibration, it goes back to the other video of what I was trying to say about the energy of um, suicide. and how it can exist in the same dimension on a different plane though. Energy, frequency, vibration is the same thing as this. Those that will hear the call will hear the call. There will be people standing right next to them that don't hear shit. And be like that, right? So everything's constantly moving, never resting. Vibrational energy source, vibrational frequency match to what you want, adjusting your own vibrational frequency. So that's important with the law a vibration, right? So 12 laws. So we got law, universal law one, law of divine oneness, universal law two, law of vibration. We got universal law three, law of correspondence. It's internal existence directly reflecting our external existence. Perception is key. So, sorry, these are my notes. <laughs> I understand. But so, the outer and the inner. So this is just like so simple. As above, so below. As within, so without, right? Our inner experience determines our outer perception, our outer experience, our outer world, right? So law of correspondence, right? The internal existence directly reflects our external existence. Our internal existence directly reflects our external existence, period. The law of correspondence. Yeah. Universal law one, law of divine oneness. Universal law two, law of vibration. Universal law three, law of correspondence. Then you got universal law four, law of attraction. The one that a lot of people are always preaching about. Like attracting like, focusing. So the strong focus here would be on gratitude to energies that would be supportive of you. Strong focus on how you live. Would that be how you attract? So you can really get that. So people think, oh, like attracts like and all this kind of stuff. And if you do the act, that that guarantees you the deed or the breed or the seed. But what you kind of understand is the energy, which is why you're not drawing it in, even if you do the act. Liua to a cup. Fruition, the swiftly hearkening God. So you're bringing stuff into fruition, right? 
because the, the passageways, the crosswords, the providing expansive, right? Because intelligence, right? So your intelligence is giving and it's expansive. And it's being met with expansion. The quickly forgiving God, right? So love and submission, curing illnesses, influences, paternal love gives long life, right? The quickly forgiving love, through this heartbreak too. So you have the five, the two and the three, the progression of this. You know what I mean? Because it's coming from the heart. Something has been deprived for such a long time. And the giving department of the masculine and divine feminine energy is existing, coexisting in harmony has been painful. And so with submission, with this, with this, with this force, with this energy, right? There's things being brought into fruition now because it's divine, it's it's time. God, master of the universe, two of cups, it's fucking time. Divine warrior confounds, confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. God, master of the universe. Right? So you got universal law of one, law of divine oneness, two, law of vibration, three, law of correspondence, four, law of attraction. Five, law of inspired action. Did you even know that? There's a universal law of divine inspired action. The guiding principle states that action is or must be taken to take inspired action. So the act must be done, right? In order to create any sort of change you desire in your life. So taking inspired action on your epiphanies, trusting your intuition to guide you and reconnect you with the shift that you want to make in order to enlighten you to take inspired action. Universal law of five, laws of inspired action. God, that is just, right? The star, right? Bringing that which you desire into fruition, wish fulfillment, clemency, and equilibrium, protecting against attacks, especially by others, even in the courts or in the judicial or even in the, in, the, in the higher courts of living. So that could be people of higher status too, attempting to attack because they don't want your come up to what you've got to start. God is just, the Justice League is here. That, that filler up has been filled up and it's poured the fudge out. So, Universal law six, law of transmutation of energy. Everything is in a constant state of flux and that everything is energy, right? Our thoughts, our feelings, our energy transforms into the physical, right? And everything. So we are told we must reframe our energies from negative to positive, right? So example, like anger, transform our anger into passion, transform our anxiety into excitement. This is how thoughts become things. Law of transmutation of energy, right? Right. Because we're shifting the way we ask the universe for what we desire. And so if we understand these laws better, then may you think we'll ricochet better. Exactly. Right. So we have universal law one, law of divine oneness. Universal law two, law of vibration. Universal law three, law of correspondence. Universal law four, law of attraction. Universal law five, law of inspired action. Universal law six, law of transmutation of energy. Universal law seven, law of cause and effect, babe. Right? So with every action, there will be a corresponding reaction. This is where we get karma from. Right, the idea of karma from a human perspective, what goes around comes around type of thing. How we can explain this in the physical is we drop a ball out the window and the ball will fall to the ground, period, right? So it's the physical representation of the law. So spiritually, be fully conscious about how um, your physical world affects your spirituality and vice versa. You reap what you sow, call it karma, if you will, right? Are you laying foundations that breed your desire, your desirable outcome? Controlling what we 
can with our actions, right? Switch up how you think, feel, and act, right? So recognize your patterns, start paying attention to those unconscious things you do every single day, laws of cause and effect. These were just my notes on it. We're going to talk more about it in another one. I might actually be able to finish this in this video and then just continue as we go. So you got universal law one, law of divine oneness, universal law two, law of vibration, universal law three, law of correspondence, universal law four, law of attraction, universal law five, law of inspired action, universal law six, law of transmutation of energy, universal law seven, law of cause and effect, universal law eight, law of compensation. What? Did you know that? Did you know that? We receive what we put out. How does this apply to spiritual workers and light workers and healers who feel wronged and what? Law of compensation. How one feel it, reveal it, the value it of that which they allow it to receive it from the externals. Play that back. Compensation. We're going to talk about the etymology of the word. Not in this one, though. But whatever you think, whatever you feel or do, will create a form of compensation equal to it. Law of compensation. Whatever you think, feel, and do will create a form of compensation equal to it. We receive in life exactly what we desire, what we deserve. For all these things we do and everything we do creates an outcome equal to the amount of effort we have put in, period. Law of attraction one, law, I mean, law of, Universal law one, law of divine oneness, universal law two, law of vibration, universal law three, law of correspondence, universal law four, laws of attraction, universal law five, law of inspired action, universal law six, laws of transmutation of energy, universal law seven, laws of cause and effect, universal law eight, law of compensation, universal law nine, law of relativity. But I had another note from Universal Law 8, becoming more consciously aware of what behaviors, thoughts, feelings are entering into your physical and spiritual world. I just, I got to rewrote that again. But Universal Law 9, nine Law of Relativity. Everything that happens is neutral. Uh, I know that's going to bother a lot of you. But everything that happens is neutral. It's neither good nor bad. Uh, I know. I know that that's upsetting. I know that that's upsetting for so many upsetting reasons, but you have to understand 12 universal laws and how accountable you must be for your own university, your unity within your being, because nothing is going to remain hidden, nothing is hidden from the justice. Because that is its role, that is its job, that is its energy, that is its frequency, that is beyond that which you are. It just is. Everything that happens is neutral. It's neither good nor bad, but rather an opportunity for growth and change. We do not need to judge. You hear the key word there. We do not need to judge. We do not need to judge things as favorable or unfavorable. We don't need to do that. We need to view from a place of neutrality. Our reaction to things happening shift our frequency and put us out of balance. Right, the multiple perspectives surrounding all, right? Um, slow down, take a look at situations for more than one perspective, because there's multiple perspectives within everything, right? Become grateful, create pleasure from pain, manakal, God nurturing and maintaining everything. 
right? Knowledge of good and evil appeases divine anger, cures epilepsy, uh, epilepsy, uh, epilepsy. <laughs> but either way, knowledge of good and evil, knowledge of good and evil remain neutral that which you perceive and use this as a, an opportunity to grow and transform, right? Someone out there wishes they have what you have. This law teaches us to find the good in the people, places, and situations we are surrounded by, right? Become more grateful too. But either way, universal law 10, law of polarity. There are two ends to everything. Everything has its equal opposite. For example, heat brings us heat in summer, cold in winter. With every end comes a new beginning. The strength to fight on through complex situations. We are not enjoying good right around the corner, right? So, okay. So the law of polarity, another way to look at it too is the strength to continue to fight through, especially through challenges and stuff. One of my favorite quotes and always that I, I, I say, especially in challenging times is this too shall pass, right? Law of polarity, this too shall pass, right? Strength to fight through and to understand it intellectually too that this too shall pass. Good is right around the corner. Universal law 11, law of rhythm, law of perpetual motion, focused on movement in the form of natural rhythms, right? So this is the natural rhythms of the world, like this is the thing of the sound that I was talking about, right? So like the tides of the ocean, seasons, aging, breathing, these sounds, right? It teaches us patience and to trust the universe to go with the natural flow. Everything shows up and begins when it should, right? Let go of attachments to people, ideas, and material things, laws of rhythm. Now, universal law number 12, let's go through all of them again. Universal law number one, law of divine oneness. Universal law number two, law of vibration. Universal law three, law of correspondence. Universal law four, law of attraction. Universal law five, law of inspired action. Universal law six, law of transmutation energy. Universal law seven, laws of cause and effect. Universal law eight, law of compensation. Universal law nine, law of relativity, the relativity, and universal law ten, law of polarity, universal uh, law eleven, law of rhythm, and universal law twelve, very super important, law of gender. Very important. And it's not focused on male and female anatomy. It's focused on the idea that everything has masculine and feminine energy tied closely. And this is tied closely to the law of polarity, right? Like yin and yang, complementary opposites. We cannot be whole without the both balance. So think about that the next time you judge something, you think that. Think about the polarity existing within your own being to, to know that truth, right? So it's the internal balance, fostering a fertile ground for all the laws to work in our favor. Hold on a second. Either way, I hope that you enjoyed this. The purpose of this is to create that internal balance that fosters us a fertile ground for all the other laws to work and function, right? So creating that's the with the law of gender, because if we can create this internal balance, that fosters within us a fertile ground, it will create the capacity for all other laws to work and function within us, right? So either way, I hope that you enjoyed this. Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe. Um, until next time, love and divine welcome to you.